Hi guys, it's your boy Manny here again and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to rig a character in OpenTunes. This is a 2D character that I've drawn. You can see I separated them into layers, the left hand, the right hand, and the columns. The columns are actually for separating the body parts and all that. So I just did a little character drop if there was enough time if you two would give me enough time i would have walked you guys through the steps of drawing all this right but there isn't enough time so i just pre-drew it and now i'm just gonna show you guys how to rig this character okay but first of all go to windows I will go to the schematic to kind of organize these body parts that we've drawn. I know all this may seem a little strange right now, but with time, time gauge to it, gauge to it, as long as you're practicing. So, we need to organize this, okay, so that we need to connect everything to the middle right here, this middle part. We need to connect everything to this part here. Right here. Connect everything to this part. The eyes, the mouth, the nose, the hands, and the legs need to be connected to this part. And on this part, I called it H and B. It's just what I give to it. It signifies head, neck, and body. It's just my kind of aggravation, but you could come up with yours anyway. As suits you okay so um, i'm just gonna go ahead and connect all that to the hnb the right leg is already connected left leg right hand left the hand i'm just gonna go ahead and connect the mouth to that the nose to that as well the eyes to that yep to that the b part I hope you guys are observing this. The B part will be connected, like the first B's will be connected to the second B of the main, the primary carrier. That's the one you want to, to be the head of all this. You connect the first B's to the second B's of that head in quote. So um, let's go right to it. We've done just that. Everything is connected to this, so let's proceed. First, we're gonna create a mesh for the part we want to rig. Um, should we rig the head or the hand? Just make a little waving sequence. Yeah, we should do a little wave, right? So we're gonna we're gonna rig the hand right here. So that she kind of weaves. Okay, so we're gonna create a mesh for this. To create a mesh, we need to use the plastic tool. The plastic tool, the shortcut for that is X. Press X on your keyboard. X right there. And you see create mesh over here. I hope you guys can see that. Click on create mesh. And then this little window pops up just go ahead and click apply apply that delete the uh man never mind this just press apply anyway and then we have a mesh created extend that just go ahead and remove this Okay, then I'm gonna drag it all the way down here. Okay, so our mesh has been created, and each time you create a mesh, you're gonna have to, you know, organize it in the schematic. But that is already organized. You see, it's basically just did it did 
that on its own automatically okay then we're gonna build the skeleton right here build skeleton yeah there we go yep I guess that's that's good enough so animate go to animate to move the hand around see that see that see so we just leave it right here and keyframe it keyframes automatically but then we have to go to the drawing itself and keyframe that as well when you keyframe it on the mesh you have to keyframe it on the drawing that it is attached to okay let's just say 12 frames interval 12 frame interval wave will be all right just keyframe that as well i hope you guys are really following this man i hope i am not too fast or just on my own here talking to myself <laughs> which i am doing literally right now except that once you guys are watching it i won't be talking to myself anymore it's gonna be you guys so practically <laughs> this is not weird at all all right um 36 right here move that over here the keyframes then we have to keyframe the drawing and then oh can this be over already i am so tired keyframe and keyframe okay let's just do one more one more one more one more okay let's see how this will play out yo yeah in my next video i'm gonna show you guys how to do a lip sync you know after you've made your whole recording you've recorded the voices and now you want to lip sync the animation to the recording in quote i'm gonna show you guys how to do that in my next video so just if you haven't subscribed yet just go ahead and click the subscribe button to see that okay so let's see how this plays out go to loop and then loop that see how beautiful that is oh yeah there was already a little lip sync that is there never mind that i think i forgot to remove that to just a little test i did if there was time i would have shown you guys in this video but that's why we have another video and another video coming up okay guys i hope you guys learned a lot from this first of all we created the mesh for the part we wanted to you know rig after creating the mesh we um, organized the schematic you know the schematic was the first thing we did we arranged the schematic, you know, connecting the primary bees to the secondary bees right there in Windows, and then schematic connected all that, and then we created a mesh for the part. You know, you could rig various parts of the body, but in this particular video, we're rigging just the hand. But if you want to rig other parts, you know that you want the head to move as well, you want the legs to move, you could go ahead and create a mesh for them, and then just kind of organize them in the schematic as well so after doing that we created the mesh and then we started to you know rig it and keyframe it so that it kind of captures the motion you get you feel right yep i'm sure you guys do so thank you guys for watching we'll see you in the next video peace